Hey guys, Michelle here from Michelle Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I wanted to share with you, I know I keep laughing every time I say this, um, a virtual retreat that I signed up for with Vicki Booten. This is not her specific collection, but it is um, something she put together herself from 49 and Market and decided to do a um, kit with it. And so this kit is basically um, 10 by 10 plus layouts. Sorry for the noise. My dog is walking around. Um, so she put these kits together. Uh, they are sold out, unfortunately. But she does have access only available um, to purchase. And what that basically means is access only gives you the access to her class along with a list of all the items she'll be using in the class to conduct the class and making the layouts that she has um, pre-made to go over in class live. So if um, obviously when this goes live on my YouTube channel, the class would have already happened, but um, it's pre-recorded and you will see everything already there. You would just be taking the class after the fact. But I am sorry for shaking the camera. I'm like so excited. Um, this is one of 49 and Market's current collection, um, Spectrum Gardenia. I hope I'm saying that right. And then along with other stuff. So I just want to share with you some of the goodies that she has available when you purchase her online kit. Um, I do know she has another one available right now. Um, I believe it's with Simple Stories. And um, that one has not sold out yet. I already have all that product on hand, so I might wait for the access only and then partake in it. So another thing to remember, she lives in Canada. So for those you, for those that are in the US <laughs> going to her website, please don't be sticker shocked because it will convert when you check out to um, US currency. So the price you see on her website is Canadian dollars. So I just want to throw that out there in case you look and see why also her shipping the reason why it is pricey probably depending on where you live is because of that she lives in canada so shipping to the u.s is a little bit pricey as well as the weight of the box and i can tell you this is pretty heavy i wonder if the box tells me how much it does not it doesn't tell me the weight but anyways you understand my point crafting stuff is it um is heavy so what comes in the kit and i'm so excited i can't wait to play with this is the spectrum gardenia um word set so here are all of the stuff inside and again these are chipboard so they don't have a sticker backing you would have to use your own adhesive and whatever that is that you like to use so fun then this is the ephemera bits so there's 145 of them in here oh my goodness gracious i am going to go to town with this and remember this kit is not to make an album it's just to do layouts so you do know i'm gonna have tons of stuff left over because we will and when i show you everything done you will see when i do give you the the after the aftermath the after result of it all because i will do that as well when i'm done with the class and because i've never seen any of this product i am going to stick, take a sneak peek and i want to show it look how pretty that is gorgeous Ooh, and they all cut out so the heart cuts out the circle and then all those pieces which i just did right there so we have it in blue and purple Ooh, I love the purple gorgeous and then we have these that are all solids oh, I love this Look how pretty. oh and then we have one in black and white but it comes out oh my god this is so so yummy oh my gosh you definitely get a lot gorgeous I think I'm going to be playing with this after the class. Look at these pieces. 
I tell you, she got me hooked on 49 and Market last year when she did one of these classes. And I said, you know what? I don't have them. I've never dealt, like, worked with them to know because I've been usually doing Simple Stories in Echo Park. And so I took a gamble, took one of her classes after I had just taken a collection class of hers. And I fell in love with this product, like 49 and Monk Market itself. And it's just so pretty. They have, and their vintage collection, oh my god. If you've not seen them, definitely check them out. Their, their range of stuff is no different in my mind than Simple Stories in Echo Park in that they have a vintage line and then a regular line. But the size of things, just, anyways. This is pretty cool. It looks like it's 3D and it's not. And then it has a paper clip on it. Love that. Then you have a smaller version. And it looks like it was torn. Oh, look at this. It's, it's like a piece. Oh, it's not. It's another one. Oh my gosh. I love this. Then you have favorite. Kind of looks like Vicky's handwriting, honestly. And then you have this one, which they what they basically do is to cheat the system. They give you one, right? But it has three in it. So here is your one. Here is your two. And then you could probably do something with this. I'm not sure what, but I'm pretty sure you could. And then this would be your third piece. But if you don't want to incorporate this as three pieces, then here's your two. But I just find that sneaky and I like it. Um, okay, I don't want to take too much of your time. I'll just keep going through this, but I just love all this stuff. Oh, so pretty. So another thing that's cool. So again, these are chipboard, right? So, or ephemera. So you don't have any adhesive on the back. So if you have a sticker maker, you could definitely make these as stickers. You can put foam dots on the back and raise them up, or you can just glue them with your adhesive of whatever method you have. Okay, here's a better one to my concept. So here's one, and I know I'm popping this all out. One, two, keeps giving, three, because you know you can layer something, right? Three, And then five out of one piece you can actually use it as a stencil that would be the reason for this so anyways I know I got all excited there for a moment but so one piece of ephemera gave you five pieces as a whole so yeah that's pretty neat so I'll just go through, like I said I was going to do, so you have them in different pieces. You have best, and they're in different colors, which I love, and then you have all these hearts, and then you have these gigantic frames that look like, just put a picture in them, and you have tags, and then you have little, um, what are these called, tabs, tabs different colors, more of these little guys, like our paint strips or swatches. Oh, that one's so pretty. And they look like they have eyelets on them, but um, they're not. I don't know if you can kind of tell that. So these are so cool. I'm sure you can kind of see and get the gifs of it because there's more stuff in here. And then these are the big ones. Just cut pieces. That's gorgeous. Imagine putting like one of the paper dolls from Tim Holtz on there. Anywho. So that one was the big giant one. Um, 145 die cut pieces. I'll put that away later. This one is a Gardena chipboard set. has 58 pieces. So these are very different and they are thicker because they're chipboard. I'll take some out so you can see. Ooh, that is your card. So as you can see the flowers and then you see the thickness. 
very different from the die cut pieces. And then I know for a fact that these are probably from Vicky's collection um, color study. That's what it looks like. I could be wrong, but I want to say that's where it's from. Um, and it goes perfectly with it. So I think I have extra of those, so that's cool. Then these are laser cut elements. OMG. So if you've never seen 49 in Market, and if you have but never seen their laser cuts, these are pretty neat. They do have them in every collection, but they're different in the sense of what products or shall I say, if they're like um, flowers or whatnot. But anyways, these are sheets. And hopefully I do this right. So they come like a 12 by 12 sheet. And hopefully you can kind of tell. They're already perforated. And all you have to do is just poke them out as your ephemera. And the reason why these are cool, and I'll show you in a second they don't have a white border most ephemera have a white border because of how they're cut and so these don't um they are probably the same texture as a die cut piece or a little slightly a little bit thicker but you do have to be careful when you're taking them out because the thinner ones like the atenai um, that are in here you see how thin that line is that um, you don't want to break obviously then your butterfly or moth doesn't have any <laughs> so um, I just love how they're all here of different colors oh, so yummy anyways so those are laser cut elements and then in the virtual class we have the 12 by 12 rub on transfer sheets Excuse me, so sorry for the hiccups. So I can't wait to see how we're gonna incorporate this in the class. Then we have the solid 12 by 12 collection sheet. So let's take these out and take a look. Now from what she told us already, she made 14 double page layouts. So freaking amazing. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, sorry. That's just, all of that right there is just gorgeous. Um, so here we go. We have solid paper. So you have the front and the back. And so these are the yellows. And you basically, it looks like if they just took texture paste and just splattered it on there with a stencil in the background. And then you see like a peak of just words coming through. So you did that in orange and this is red. We got pink, we have purple, oh that's so pretty. This is a blue, green, this is a white, this is black, oh it's so gorgeous. Anyways. So this was, like I stated, the solids of the collection. Then here we have painted foundations. So let's see what's on the back of this one. Ready? Make sure I'm not even taking the one page. Ready? One, two. <gasps> cool. I like the other one better. <laughs> one is neat so these you would have to obviously fussy cut them out um but that's okay because you never know they're not that difficult in my mind but that's pretty cool then we have this one here and i do know in last year's class that we took with vicky she actually made us fussy cut these out um when they had this kind of option so we'll see what she does with this one but this side is definitely neat i love the whole ombre effect with all the colors this one is pretty too. Can't imagine them not being pretty, but I love the diversity and all of them. Oh, this is neat. And I love how it goes from the color scale to your black and white. 
I think that's pretty cool. This one's cool too. I feel like if you um, had this on a wall and then you just put the word create on it in bold black letters. Gorgeous. Purple. Here's another one. Okay, so these were all of the foundations. So again, we got the foundations, we had um, the solids, and then here we just have um, additional pages. So she gave us an additional sheet of the fragments, which we've already seen the pink one. This one is of color study. No surprise there, right? I'm telling you, this went with color study. So this one is new ideas. That's pretty. This one, I feel like I'm going back and forth. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, this one here is color wheel, which I guess came out of, they're so thick. I feel like I'm grabbing two. This one's brush strokes. Ooh, this one's pretty. This is blue persuasion. That's gorgeous. Ooh, this kind of gives me Elizabeth Craft Designs and then Tim Holtz and then 49 and Market. Um, this one here is called Pinwheel. This one's Array, which we've already seen before. This one's Trimmings. Solid Paper 6. So a green one and a blue one. And then another Color Study Dots and Marks. That's pretty. And then we have some solids. So these are Basil... Vibrant blue. Let's see what these are. Oh, they're at the bottom. This is some yellow. It doesn't have a name on it. And then this one is called Parakeet. So this is everything that we are going to be using in her class for the gardenia class. Again, I will link um in the description box below the access only if you're interested in it because she did sell out of her kit that so she was selling online but if you already have this in your arsenal in your craft room then there's no need to worry because then you could just do the access only and then have access to it now by the time i post this hopefully it didn't take place already but if it did i'm do i do apologize i was trying to get these videos up sooner but it just didn't happen and um, the class probably already took place, but do not fret because they're all pre-recorded and you'll have the same experience as if it was live. You just won't be able to ask her direct questions because it's pre-recorded already or already recorded. So um, thank you so much for taking the time out and seeing all the stuff that I will be doing in the virtual class. Um, if you have not checked her out yet, she does do Friday Night Lives. Um, the last couple of Friday nights she hasn't been on because she's been traveling herself doing in-person retreats. So that's probably why you haven't seen anything current. But um, you can check her past ones to take a look and then go from there. I do thank you again for the time that you took out of your day to watch my video. And I will catch you on the next one. You guys have a great day. Take care.